Uh, obviously, congratulations to Notre Dame. I'd say uh, they have a lot to do with uh, what I'm at fault for as far as decision making and job of a coach is once the game starts, put your guys in a good position to succeed. And I didn't do that. Um, but this is uh, a job that requires big boy decisions. And um, they, they come at high stakes when you play in our league or you get into the postseason. A lot of that was discomfort from things we saw out of Notre Dame. Uh, so again, a credit to them. And then two, you got to execute. So they did that uh, throughout the weekend. I thought our guys played good defense. And obviously, we, we kind of uh, did some damage yesterday on the scoreboard. But um, that'll stick with me. Um, Notre Dame will get to go to Omaha and enjoy that and probably do some damage. It's a really tough group. And I think what needs to stick with our guys uh, once time passes, um, which they say time heals all wounds. I don't know who they are. Um, because sometimes those take a long time, but uh, 57, that's a lot. That's a lot. A team that, a um, bunch of good kids, a couple maniacs out there, but accused of bats. I've never seen a kid accused of doctoring a ball, uh, accused of doing the Astros and banging on the on the bench. Um, uh, there's other, I mean, accused of signaling three to three, and that's supposed to be the double bird. Um, a lot of that stuff was just, you know, because of how dynamic they were as a group and what they accomplished. And they did some extraordinary things. And really it was just kind of like yesterday. You slide Trey Lipscomb into the four hole, Drew Gilbert's out and gets an RBI in the first inning. Uh, that obviously is not the most important play of the weekend, but it's one to me that defines this group of a bunch of guys that um, got each other's back.